Hey everybody, how are you doing? I have to turn this little thing off. <laughs> how are you guys? Today was a crazy day and it's not getting much better, but I have a lot to show you, a lot to talk about. I hope everybody is doing well. Who do we have here? There's Glum and Charlotta, Laura, Karen, Brenda, Lori. Oh, you must be off work, Lori. Uh, Lisa Hole, Amy Powers. How is everybody? Is it raining by you? My stupid basement flooded. Karen Bierce, hey, did your basement flood? Amy, how about you? <laughs> I hate it. Ugh. And I think my dehumidifier gave up the ghost today. So that's not good. My husband is out of town. He got stuck in... Um, Denver last night and he wound up sleeping in a cot in the airport because they couldn't book him in until 5 30 in the morning it was 11 30 or something so they couldn't even like get him to a hotel so they he sent a picture of these cots just laying out in the the middle of the floor no flooding it's gross out yes I didn't want to go out today we were supposed to go to lunch but we didn't go and it was okay we're waiting for Susie to get better. Um, anyway, what else is going on? Um, we're going to do a fun project today. I want to try something that's a little bit different. Oh, you have snow. Hey, Laura. Oh, lucky you. I know. Hayward did say it was, well, the, the wings were freezing on the plane. So luckily they did keep them. But anyway, um, so I have a couple things to show you, uh, some treasure haul that I got at thrift stores and I think a couple things from an antique store. Yeah, a little cot, like a little Boy Scout cot with a pillow and blanket, you know, all folded up. They, mu they must do that, but they never did it for me. I would wind up sleeping in a chair. Ugh, it didn't happen much, but... Um, I also wanted to mention, I do have some more kits for the Bella Crafts event. So this is one, you get a lot of stuff in there. We're going to make a journal. Um, I don't uh, have the made up one because I can't find it. But I do have the other one. And this is also fun. It's a little uh, drawer that we're going to make that will hold beads or whatever it is that you want to store in this little container. Um, you can do your jewelry findings, really cool techniques with embossing folders and luster wax. So I hope you will come and take the Bellicon um, retreat with us. And that's going to be next week. I leave on Thursday. So that'll be exciting. So if you haven't signed up, sign up, okay? 100 degrees, Peter McGinley in Australia. Oh, wow. Ugh. All right, Brenda cut all her pieces. She thinks she has everything. Okay, Brenda, don't fold anything. <laughs> That's the only thing. Hey, Sheila. Hi, Allison. Okay. Um, so uh, today, after the disaster the other day, Tuesday, I mean, it was a cool little thing that we made, and I did. I had to go out to Target and get, look at these lights. You just twist them, and they light up. Isn't that cool? So this came out okay, but I did come up with some ways that I would fix it. And what I think I would do this time is not, um, well, I still might do the video, but today, like I'm designing dies. I haven't a chance to do some stuff for another company and ugh, I don't know when I'm going to do it. It's enough that I'm doing this, and it is going to be fun. I'm glad you're excited, <laughs> Amy Powers. Let me just show you a couple things that I found. This I am so excited about. All right. You're not going to believe this. Miss Manners. Look at it. It has the best. It's just a whole book full of funny questions and answers. And, you know, I mean, she's good. So I'm going to use these for some book pages, possibly in what I'm doing today. And the pages are pretty thick. I found it in a thrift store, Leslie, and it says on there $9.98, which is a good deal in itself. But um, it, I think it was like $1.50. 
I can't remember what the hardbacks were. Each thrift store has its own little, you know, scale of, yeah, I know. So whenever I go anywhere and if I see, especially the older ones, they're really good because they're talking about the white gloves and, and the calling cards and all that. I love that. Um, but here's another one that I got, the Celebration of Soups. I got this yesterday. <laughs> Quiz. Oh, I'm sure I'm wrong. But this paper felt so good. I got it for the paper. So, you know, when you're out looking about in thrift stores, the other thing I liked about it was it was brown type. It's not the black, which is kind of harsh. This is a nice background. So it's a nice quality paper, and it's got the kind of faded background and some kind of cool little illustrations in there. So be on the lookout. Just get them for cheap and use them for paper. You don't have to use pattern paper, printed paper for everything you do, as you're going to see today. Okay? Who doesn't celebrate soup? I celebrate it, but I don't make it, so I don't need a cookbook. Well... That's true. It doesn't say, I mean, it does give recipes. <laughs> I can celebrate somebody else making it. All right. This is another thing that I'm going to use. These are from Dollar Tree. These are kind of old. You can see this has faded. I looked at it. It's like, it's time to use it. Gotta go. All right. So here are some other treasures. Are you ready? All right. These are... Let's see. I don't think I showed you these, but these are bingo cards. Just a couple of these old ones. Those I found out in Delaware. This was an old postcard, which I thought was interesting. It had a bunch of like florals. Um, I might have shown you this, but it's nice red paper that I think would look good with to write on white with it. You know, it's just pretty. I can't remember if I showed you these. If I did, I'm sorry. Um, this is a tiny little tracing paper pad. It's like kids. And somewhere I was listening to somebody talk about printing on tracing paper or something. And they said the kids stuff is always cheaper. So this was, I think, 50 cents. You know, and it has 16 sheets. This is uh, This was at Ollie's for $1.49. And these are nice for the tabs, you know, if you need one to, what does that go to? 31. Oh, so it must go to one for each day, you know. So if you wanted to put these in the journal, and actually these would fit in this die that I'm using today. Um, and we can measure that once we get it cut out. Uh, and also... In that same vein these are some old postcards I like these because they're kind of yellowed and they're pretty thick the ones they make now are just crap I mean <laughs> you can't do anything they're just very flimsy I use them to make notes on hey Janie Jane oh she just woke up okay Jane yeah watch it later um, the numbered filing cards I think this says Ollie's $1.49 and they're really thick you want to shop with me? Do it. Come. I would love to have somebody with me. This is another... Whoop, I'm going the wrong way. These, these are postcards that are kind of like Courier and Ives or, you know, I just thought they'd be fun. They were a dollar. So, um, and then what... Oh, this is... These were just a little thing of pencils, but they're fat ones. You know, they're, I guess, like kids. Fat pencils for beginning writers. Or fat pencils for fat ladies. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to sharpen them up and use them. I think they're so cute. They're pretty sharp. I do have one that has the two, two ends. We can go shopping when we're in Ohio. If we have time, Sarah. <laughs> All right, we'll have a big shopping trip. All right, I'll take you on one next time. If they let me. I go to these places. I always wonder. Who is that maniac? Okay, this is a little photo book, and we're going to use this in one of the classes that we're doing down at the Bella Crafts Retreat. That's the one that we have the kit for. So to do it, you need... Um, does anyone have a link to purchase Eileen kits? If they're in my Etsy store. <laughs> I 
<laughs> you need one fat pen. <laughs> okay, you and me, Linda. All right, so I got that for 50 cents. These are a dollar and dollar treat. They're kind of skinny, but that's okay. It'll work in there. Then I got this string, or I guess yarn. It says Cool Spun. And I'm not sure what it is, but it had kind of a nice texture. It's like a cotton, I think. It looks old. I, a blend of 50. Oh, it's linen and acrylic. So I don't know. I'm going to give that a try. And, oh, here's this this little, a little tiny pack of playing cards. I like to look in the kids' sections because they have better stuff than the adults sometimes. Look at this teeny tiny little pack of cards. You don't see them in the store? You don't see the kits? Mm -mm. I renewed them. There should be... I don't know. All right, I'll go look because I have some other things I'm going to list tonight. We do have good stores, but you have to look, Linda. They're not all good. They're good, but you have to really be willing to poke in corners and, you know. The other thing I wanted to show you was this, which is one of those old-fashioned stamps that you push down. It's already inked, and it does numbers, so really cool. It weighs a ton. Um, this was two fifty. I have another one. And it, it just keeps making the numbers go up each time. So it's kind of cool. Then just a couple other things. This was a bottle that I found in Dollar Tree. And I thought that was really pretty. They came in different colors. But I kind of like the texture of this. So if you did one flower, you know, or said three flowers, this would be a nice width to put it in there. And maybe put some of those little marbles or sand or something down here, or buttons, um, to you know, kind of weight it, weight your stems down. And one last thing, <laughs> I'm getting into the puffy stickers. I don't know if you guys have seen these. These were from Target and they're cute and they just take up space and they finish something off like a card or a little tag. And so then I started looking and I found, well, these I had gotten they're little ones, and I like them for tags or cards or just like a little photo. I was thinking to use the um, our new one, I forget the name of it, library card, you know, to do a little card with the baby's photo on it and then just a little thing like sweet baby or, you know, they have all kinds of, they have a lot of images on here. So I thought they were pretty. And then these were some I got from Dollar Tree, and I made some fun little birthday cards because they're the balloon animals, and just little tiny, and then I framed them in an A2 card, and they came out really cute. Um, these are some other ones I got at Dollar Tree, and they're dimensional. In fact, I did one on a, I don't know what I did with it, but <laughs> I, I had to move all the stuff off my desk. But um, these are kind of pretty, you know? So I got them. And then this is the last thing. I got this at Target. And these are all puffy stickers. They're kids, but they would make great cards for kids. Or if the kids wanted to come, you could make them a little pack and let them make cards. You know, I thought this was a really good deal because I think these were like $5. And that other one was like three something for this just one sheet. So, um, Louise, when the live is over, I'll. Poke Eileen to make sure the kids are visible. Okay, sorry guys. All right, well I'll I'll put a, a note up in the group later with the link. I thought I had done that because somebody ordered them. I don't think they're sold out. But anyway, um, so that's that. So those are my finds, and I I like them. They were fun. Okay, now let's talk about this project today. I think this is going to take two classes because I really want to do this right. And I did actually, because this is going to be kind of a big project, um, I made a little sketch of what it is that I want to do on here. I did get out my supplies. But the other thing I wanted to talk about was I was thinking, I want to make this mine. I want to do this with my art. So I don't know if you guys saw, I posted up something the other night. I was fiddling around with watercolors. First of all, I want to say I am not a professional by any stretch 
of the imagination. I'm not a watercolor artist, but it's fun to play with it. And I think that what we have to do is just get it in our head that we're doing art for fun. And it's ours, whether it's good or bad. And it's part of us. So don't be afraid to try it, is all I'm saying. So this was not great, but I put it up on Instagram. I was kind of pleased with it. I did a couple. So I put that up on Instagram, and everybody said, oh, you should make papers out of it. Well, I did for me. You should do it for you because it's really fun. I'm going to use this to cover my journals. So I'll show you a couple other ones that I did. I, I think I was getting better. You know, that's not great. My leaves are a little weird, but I like the colors. And, you know, I think it was fun to, to try. And then here's another one. That was a little dark, but, you know, that's all right. This one I liked. I wish I hadn't done that because I think it messed it up. But on the whole, I like it, you know. So I like the colors. I like to play with them. That one was fun. I like that one. And this was, I don't know, I'm not sure about this one, but it, it was good to try it. So all I'm saying is you can take your own art and you can put that on your things that you make. So what I did today was I scanned my art and then I put it. I was so organized now I can't find anything. Oh, it's right in front of me. <laughs> Okay, so I also had a ledger paper that I had scanned, and so I placed my, I don't know if you can see it, but there's ledger paper behind my art, just to give it a little more dimension. Well, thank you, Karen Rogers. They're not bad, but you know what? They're, they're whatever they are. I, they're my art, and I'm going to claim them, and I'm going to put them on a project, and I'm going to like it, because they're the colors I like, and... Just that's what I'm doing, because I can. So I did go ahead and cut some out. I had also done some, and then I was naming the file, and I was writing watercolor, but it went on here. I didn't notice it, and I printed it. This is on tea-dyed paper that I had tea-dyed. So it's all my art in a way. Not that tea-dyeing is an art, but <laughs> some people it is. So anyway, that's what I want to do today. So I'm just saying, use your stuff to make stuff for you because you probably like it okay um there's a couple other things i did scan this was a an old book that i had i put that in some sheet music so if i need any of this stuff to make um any put anything on i have i have some old photos i don't know if i'm going to use them but it could be for a pocket or something i don't know I wanted to have it on hand because I didn't want to print it in the middle. <laughs> Charlotta says, I can hear I when I do something wrong. Oh, well, we'll fix that. It's okay. Good. If nothing else, that's what I want to get you to feel because I had that freedom myself and it was when I was doing lettering and it was like, ugh, I, you know, I'm not good at this. And then it's, I just thought, you know what? I'm just going to do it. Who, what are they going to do to me? I'm old. They're, they're, there's nothing they can do to me. Uh, so that's that's why. Gina K always says, better than horrible. <laughs> She's great. If you were going to have something printed, not printed at home, would you? where would you send it? Staples. Hmm. I have done things at Staples. Usually what I do is I put it on a thumb drive. I might have to do that because I wasn't thinking. This is 9 by 12 paper, which does not get the whole image on my scanner here at home, which is 8.5 by 11. So I was thinking, well, I think I will go to Staples, bring my thumb drive, scan it in, and scan it to that. Um, good. Well, thank you, Loretta. Hey, Angie. Hi, Isabel. You think it could be a real feature? Oh, thank. Well, it's going to be. It's going to be on my journal. And I saw somebody say to, to put them as a download. I mean, I could do that. But, you know, all right, maybe I will do that. I'm not sure how. I did do the calendar, so I know kind of I know how. But there's like a limit on the size you can do. And Anyway, I'll see what I can do. All right? 
So just do it for yourself. That's right, Linda. Do it. Do it. Okay. Enjoy the process. You know, that is the other thing. Like, yeah, I'm making a journal that I can use, but I'm also having fun while I do it because I'm hanging out with my friends. I'm trying things. And to me, that's how my brain can can make make things like the rest of the world possible. <laughs> is that horrible? But it's true. Okay. All right. So let's, uh, oh, the other thing that I had that I put over here, these are some little clips for our cliff board that I, we may not get to that today. And here are some other things. Guys, I made a score on a ton of these little, they're like trading card size. So I probably will put some of these in the shop also because I have a lot of them and I will never possibly use them. They're the nice heavyweight ones. So they hold the ATCs. So if you want to put blanks in here by color or um, put finished ones, if they're not dimensional, you can do that or it, parts that you want to use to make them. Anyway, uh, I will do that. I got all worried about the ATC. It's only paper. That's right. Good. You enjoyed it. That is the main thing. Okay. So let's get going. So let me we'll turn my camera down and let's get to work. Okay. All right. Here we go. Oh, the other thing that I wanted to say was I wanted to thank everybody for all that you do kind of for our community. Uh oh, I hope this thing is not falling again. Um, I wanted to thank everybody who would buy things in my Etsy store and I, and they comment and leave me reviews and I never um, say thank you for that. So thank you. And also thanks to the team for all that you do to, you know, you're here, you're commenting, you're, it, you know, creating with my dyes. I love it. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> I don't say it enough and I should. Okay. Um, and also to those of you that message me, I know when mom fell, everybody was messaging me and I'm sorry I didn't respond. It's just, there's so many places to get messages and then I would see it and then not remember where I found it. And anyway, I I'm, I'm always with you, okay? <laughs> All right. So here I have gone ahead because of the incident the other day. Uh, I did go ahead and prep a little more. So like I said, here's my drawing, and I'll just go over this. It's a very bad sketch, but here's the front. So I'm going to use my watercolor print on the front and on the back, okay? So I cut two of them. Well, I didn't cut them yet. I, I'm just going to put them on my my chipboard, okay? And then inside the ledger, I thought I would use, I was thinking about doing the pocket, you know, this book, this, uh, this, cause I think it will fit. I thought that would be a nice pocket. I don't know if I wanna do that on the front or on the inside, we'll see. Um, and then I thought I would use my little, pockets from, wait, let me show you what I'm using here. All right, at the library pocket, I probably can use that somewhere. These were little flowers that come in here and I really like them. So I might put them because they kind of go like the a smaller scale of these flowers uh, somewhere inside the book. And then these are the ones that have the pockets. So I thought that I would use these to kind of hold in papers and things on the inside cover. And then the other thing was I wanted to make a stencil out of this and then stencil the inside of my book because that's gonna be just the plain ledger paper. That looks like this, which is kind of plain, you know? So I thought, well, I'm just gonna stencil on that and then that'll pep it up a little bit. So. I was thinking of some blues and greens, golds maybe, to match this, okay? Not that I'm getting all matchy-matchy, but, uh, okay, let's see. Art is your favorite coping strategy. That's good. It's, you gotta, you have to have something. 
All right, and then I am going to use my easy cut adhesive because that's what I'm going to use for my stencil to make my stencil. And I'm also going to add my papers on. I originally thought that maybe I would use book pages to cover this, but then I, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do this. And so that's what I took out and that's what I'm going to use. Okay. The other thing that we're using is the chipboard. And this is in my shop, and I had to order more. I'm on my third box of this stuff. But lucky for you, I cut off one quarter of an inch, and that's what takes the time. Uh, but it just fits through the machine easier. It's eight and a half by 12, okay? I know, matchy matchy is okay too. It's right. And then I'm going to use my full size journal, okay? So this is the base. I had my Big Shot Plus out, and I thought, you know, I never make anything with that full-size journal. So let's get going on it. All right. So I'm not going to be in a rush. Whatever we get done today, we get done. And then I will continue this on Tuesday, okay? So I cut down two pieces of the chipboard. You know what? I'm going to move this back a little bit. Um, I think you can see better. Yeah. So let me get this stuff out of the way. I didn't trim down my, my adhesive though. So let's just do that. Before we get going, I'll go get my cutter pillar up here. Let's see, what is the measurement here? We want nine, nine inches. So I'll cut two at a time because this is a little slippery. Okay. What are you guys working on? It's such a yucky day. I was on the phone for a good bit of it. Okay, so I'm going to cover this, and then I also have a little pack of, this is like offcuts of my adhesive, so I probably will have to fill in a little bit to get all the way over. So we will do that. Oh man, see, they used to make this with the little extra thing that you could grab. And they're not doing that in my last batch. All right, so we're going to do front and back. So I'm going to put one full sheet on each side. Please, I have one long nail. And if that doesn't work, I'm in trouble. I can't use my... Wait, if I do it off camera, maybe that will help. I know everybody's looking. I get nervous. There we go. Okay. And you can use these extra sheets for, like, um, release paper blending ink. You know, we're going to be doing that. I may. I may want to do that. I'm not sure yet if I want to, you know, do the ink, ink around the edges. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just kind of, this is an in-process thing, and I just, I'm going to wait and see what it looks like, and then I'm going to decide, okay? The listing says heavyweight 50 point. Yes, chipboard. That's what it is. And this is a pretty heavy-duty, you know, I'm going to be using this because oh, this is crazy. I have these stupid notes all over the place, and I lose them. Yesterday, I had to go to Walmart. And I had seen something in a video, and I was like, I have to remember to get that. Well, I got to Walmart. I did not have my note to tell me what to get, and I couldn't get it. Or maybe it was the other day when I went. But, you know, it's just so annoying. So this way, it's kind of like a trapper keeper, <laughs> you know, where it'll hold everything. So my thought is to have like a little clipboard on one side and then pockets and like little post-it notes in here. And it's just going to be whatever I need that I'm going to use for my stencil. So I'm going to see what we have here. 
Oops. There's my minion, Charlotta. I usually hang him by a little hook right here. <laughs> Just gonna trim off a little bit. I don't like extra adhesive hanging around. Just gets me in trouble. It goes on my dies, it sticks to stuff. So it's worth it to take the minute to trim it down. And I would have gone ahead and gotten these ready to go because that is no fun. All right, and Nah. All right, let's do all of these first. Sorry about this. Discuss amongst yourselves. <laughs> I'm going to trim all of these. If they don't go all the way to the edge, it's not a big deal. Oop, that was two of them. Oh, well. You use graphics medium weight chipboard from Amazon. Okay, same thickness seems to be. A, I know there's points, there's, and then you can measure it. There's, yeah, I know. That's true. I just, I was nervous that this would not work, but it was, it's good because map board is pretty thick. I'll just cut this in half. That should do two. It looks like. Sorry to subject you to this. This is going to take longer than making the book. I just can't do this. I can't thread a needle. I can't unhinge this stuff. Adhesive. I love it, though. It's really sticky. Once you get it down, and then I'll use my die pick to get the rest off. Okay. Yes, you will see it from start to finish. And there'll probably be some little mistakes in there. Surprise. Oh, wait a minute. Did I get that one? No. So, yeah, everything takes longer than you think. Have you discovered that? Yesterday, I went up to see mom. She had not had any water all day and was basically did not know what was going on. And I sat there and I said, I'm not moving until you drink an entire bottle of water. And you could see about halfway, she started to come back to life and it was like a little plant wilting without water. You can't do it. All right, let's see. I mean, the aids are really good, but it doesn't work. You know, it's just she just doesn't remember like she used to. I'm going to put this over here to the edge. <sighs> Cereal boxes, Amazon boxes, pizza boxes, yes. Any box. The only thing is they don't score always, like the corrugated don't quite score as well as I would like, but um, yeah, I know, I know, Karen. All right, balsa wood, yeah, there you go. Am I going to be at the Danville show? No, no. I don't know where that is, but sounds good. Go and tell us about it, Nancy. All right, I'm going to peel one off. Now, the only thing about this ledger paper is I want to make sure to get it straight when I cut it and when I lay it on here. I mean, I'm trying not to get all finicky about it, but it will kind of bug me. But the good thing is I can do front and back. If, the, if one gets long through the other one, I can hopefully. The other thing is I really like that 21 but I don't think I'm going to be able to aim for that. The other thing is make sure you have it going the right direction. And yes, that will fit through my die. And also look on your die and make sure. Now this one is, you know, it's big. So it's got to go this way. But some of the other journals, they your direction might be sideways. 
So just make sure you get the right cut for the right thing. Although, you know, so what? This has a little background, but the flowers are not really specific. So, all right, now it's a little smaller. So I'm just going to center this on here and smooth it out. And it does have a little adhesive on the sides, but I'm not going to worry about that. It's not enough to really be obnoxious. And then over here, I'm going to put my ledger. Right, I'm not doing horrible on time. You know, it's a book. They are, books are not made in a day unless you're on a deadline, which I kind of am right now. <laughs> I'm doing the Crafters Home show and for, at the NAMTA. So I'm trying to get my project done because hallelujah, Sizzix is going to kit it for me. So uh, I, oh, wait a minute, let me think about this. All right. Because this, I'm not going to worry about my hinge because I want to talk to you about how I'm going to do that. So I am going to put this over to this side. And I'll tell you why in a minute. So we're going to have to put some stuff here so we don't cut and all right, that's not going to stick. That's not sticky anyway. All right, so that's going to be my inside page. Yeah, that looks good. And then I'll do the other one. I think I just poke myself. My pokey tool. It works. So much easier picking it up. All right, where is my other page? Hmm. All right. There's my ledger. Oh, I had two pages. All right, that's ridiculous. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's got turned around. All right, so just make sure you keep it straight because this, this does have these little lines. They're very faint, though. Maybe you could set a few alarms on her cell phone. You know what? She's not answering her cell phone either. She forgets how to do it now. It's just sad. I had to help my sister yesterday because she was trying to call her and she just couldn't couldn't get her to answer. Yeah, I hope my sister does okay with her because she's just different than how she was when she had her last. All right, now let me think about this for a minute. I'm going to push this in. Okay, this is the front cover. I'm going to try be the same thing, right? Because I want it to be, well, we'll see. If not, we'll fix it. <laughs> right, Charlotta? I think this is right, but I don't know. <laughs> uh Okay. Yes, aging is unkind. Yes. I know, the smartphone. See, she was doing it, but now, I don't know, it's like you, she never heard of it before. So, I'll just help her. Okay, so here we go. I think we're ready to cut. Mm. All right, let's bring our machine up here. Look at this nice pile of little release paper that we can use to do our little inking on. Okay, and look at that. I just pulled it forward, and here we go. No, the UTI, you know, every time we check her for that, and she has never yet had one. We 
would like to think it was something that we could fix, but um, it, she just goes up and down, and that's the thing about it. You know, it's not like the same every day. Sometimes she's good, and sometimes she's not. I really think that trip to the hospital didn't help. But Okay, so um, let's just make sure that we're centering this and getting the design. So I can do that by holding it up like this and kind of figuring out where I want to place it, and then I can look on the back. It's not going to matter because I'm going to cut that off. So now you know what we're doing here. I'm going to chop. Okay, so this is the front. Wish me luck. Here we go. There goes my minion, Charlotta. He's flipping around. Okay, you know what's happening is my. Oh, wait a minute. This is not good. I trimmed it, but I, then I didn't. I moved the this over. So I have to trim this off. I don't want it in the way. These are not my unsticky scissors, so I'll have to clean them. Okay, well, one, one thing for the books to remember. Try it again. Okay. Whoa. Sorry about that. Knocked it out of the way. Visual aids. Yeah, you know what I did? I wrote notes for the aids yesterday and said, you know, mom needs her water every day. She drinks three bottles, so let's make sure she gets them. Looking good. Okay. He is a helper, Charlotte. I hope I didn't just move that. Well, we'll find out. See, it looks pretty straight. Oh, I'm excited. It's good on the back. Nice. Oh, and we got the 21. That's my lucky number. That's why I like that. Okay, so we have one ready to go. Yes. And here's a nice little piece that maybe we could use for the label or something. So I'm going to keep that. And now we'll cut our back. Okay. Let me think about this, because I wrote front and back, and then I didn't look at which one. All right, that was front. So now we're going to do back, okay? And the reason I do that, I write on my dies to make sure that I have it oriented in the right way, okay? So now on this one, I'm going to flip it and go right here. Okay. Yeah, I might have done this wrong. Well, it's still... Yes, I did do that wrong. Hmm. Is there a way I can add? Oh, actually, yes, because I printed an extra one just in case. Haha. -ha. So let me just add that on there. It's not going to be perfect, but... <laughs> oh, the t-shirts are coming. It's not going to be perfect. I don't know about Alexa. Um, we have one. She had it, and it, I don't know. I think it just bugged her, but maybe. Maybe that's something to... You know what? I don't care if that overlaps even. I'm just trying it with my scissors. Anyway, I... That's going to get chopped off anyway. It doesn't matter. All right, good. Let's kind of match it up. Oops. Well, it's on now, like it or not. 
looks a little different, but so what? Okay. Well, I'm glad we figured that out. All right, so here is my spine's going to be over here. Oh, it's going to be the spine anyway. Oh, maybe it was right. Ah. Oh, well. And this one is pretty tight this way. So I think, oh, wait a minute. I want this going. I almost did a big boo boo. It's just a little tricky. Okay. There we go. It's inside the back cover. Yes, I will. To make something at least twice. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I w did write notes, but <laughs> better with a t shirt that says we fix that? Okay. <laughs> that does have a more positive sound to it. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's kind of pretty. And here's like a little tab. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's going to be our back. That's fine. It doesn't even really matter. Hmm. Well, I missed a little on the top, but I can ink that. That's the back, so I'm not so worried. All right. So now, look at that. It's cute. All right. That one's a little wonky, but that's the back, so so what? I like it. I think it's going to be pretty. Now, the other thing that I wanted to do was make, like, a cloth binding, which, all right, let's cut this up first. I'm going to chop off both of my uh, hinges, spines. So let me get my trimmer here. Actually, I'm going to get my bigger mat. Hang on. Okay. It's upside down. I don't care. All right. And I'm going to get my trimmer here. Just to make sure it should go right in the ditch, but just to make sure. Actually, I can't see it, so. And it's stuck down, so that's good. A little adhesive. I'm just going to lightly go over it. Let's do this one. Can't talk when I'm doing this. I'm going to chop my finger off. <laughs> yes, Leslie. Hi. Hi, Teresa. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that was, it's, all right, so now we have our, see, I did that wrong. No, no, that's right, actually, never mind. All right, so the next thing that I want to do is I am going to use some, here it is. This is some stuff that my sister gave me. She said it was silk, but I don't believe it. Like raw silk? I don't think it is. I don't know what it is, but it was like three yards of it. And what I like is it's nice and strong. So I am going to... One thing you can do your watercolors and copy and print onto white cardstock. That's what I did. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. All right, so what I want to do is use one of these as a spine. That's kind of pretty, though. I think I'll use this one. And you know what? If it shows through, that's all right. I'm just kind of want to, you know, get my length down here. It's a little more than we need. Now that's stuck on there. So, yeah, I just need a double. 
with. Um, it looked like it got torn or something. There was a flaw here. So, but I, I like the thickness of it. So I think this is going to help us fold our book. Okay. I'm so happy that showed up. All right. I'm not sure how thick I want this. I was thinking maybe just two spines, but now I'm thinking that'll leave room for pockets and stuff. So I, I think I will go with the full three. And then I can cut this if I need to, but I'm just going to kind of put this in the middle because what I'm going to do is line this up about a quarter of an inch away. Just make sure the top and the bottom are good. And this is how you would make a book, actually, um, book spine and stuff. And then this will do the same over here. So when we run this over it, this is going to be the front of our book. And actually, it should be going this way. And, you know, I might do it from the middle so that I don't have cuts on either you know, at the top or bottom. So this way they'll just meet and I can trim them in the middle. Ay, ay, ay. In my mind, I know what I want to do. <laughs> kind of doing it. Time. Oh, we. All right, let's just do this part and then I may end for today and then we can pick up on tuesday if i can wait because this is really pretty exciting to do this and then i was just gonna you could use tape which i may do right now i may use the easy cut adhesive because that will hold it usually you're supposed to use glue but uh, maybe i'll do glue you know what? I might wait on this actually and make sure I'm doing the right thing. What do you think? You think it looks like raw silk? Use the other spine as a spacer? Yeah, I could. It's it's not quite as thick. I want to have enough room in case it does get too fat. I, it can kind of expand. I'm okay with having it a little on <laughs> a cliffhanger. <laughs> oh boy. Well. Tell me if what you think. Um, glue or tape? I know that traditional book binders use glue, like a PVA glue, which I have. Um, it takes a little while to dry, and that's why I was thinking I won't do it. But maybe if we do that and then end, by the time we come back, this will be done. What do you think? Both? Use both, really? Hmm. All right. Well, here's my PVA glue. I have it, so what the heck. I think I'm going to use my little spreader thing because that's pretty handy. If I can find it in my little spinny rack here. I found a little pink one. Oh, wait, maybe I should use blue so it goes with my shirt and <laughs> my book. All right, so first, I think I would saturate this with glue and then set these on. There is still tape here, so that'll set it down once. Once we're ready, I guess I, I could put it on my covers also, but I'm going to wind up with it here. All right, this could be totally messed up, but you know what? This is how I'm going to do it. This is my book. If it's wrong, oh, well, I figure it out. Don't do it again. <laughs> I don't mean to have an attitude, but it's one of those days. Nothing against you guys, you know that. <laughs> okay, and don't be afraid to tell me if I'm totally screwing this up too. Because that is way possible. But I do think this will stick it together, which is the goal, okay? So, can I set my little... Oh! Huh. On my piece of release paper, of course. 
up on my die cut machine. All right, so I'm just going to place this down in the middle, and that's going to be my kind of reference point. <clears throat> it's fairly straight. Okay, then this is the back of my book. So I'm just going to, and you know what? This is uh, soft anyway. So if it's too, if it's a little off, I'm not going to worry about that. And I can always add more glue once I get it all arranged. Oh, that's sticking all right. Good. One looks a little bit. I'm afraid to turn this over to see what it looks like. It's hard because I can't really judge because I'm not right straight over it, but let's see. Let's get a little ruler and see what happens here. Oh, this has to come down a little. Well, it's good it stays wet. All right, I think that's what it's gonna be. I know I could do make a little spacer, but this is, you know, it's a clipboard. It will be lovely. I guess you have shared another. Oh, thank you, Isabel. All right, now I'm going to cut this off because that is the selvage, and that might kind of throw it off a little. I do like to tear my edges. I don't know if you guys do that. And then I'm going to just cut so that this can just meet up. Okay. All right, let's do it. This time I'm going to put it on here. Probably it'll spread a little better. This has holes, but. All right, well, we'll know one way or another. Will it work or not? <laughs> Allison is very um, positive. Yeah, that's good. All right. It's kind of fun, I gotta say. All right, let's pull it up. Yeah, not bad. I like that it's gonna be kind of a flex flexible spine. All right, maybe I need to trim a little bit more. Sorry, it's hard to get a good one. Let me just pull this down a minute. Can't see. Okay. Oh, it came apart a little bit. Well, I can just add a little bit more glue right here. <laughs> I will never be nominated for a precision bookmaker. But it's going to do the job. I mean, it's a little folio, you know. I mean, I would like it to be as good as it can. But Ah, all right. Are you ready? Uh oh Okay. <gasps> Look it. Nice. Actually, I love it. What do you guys think? This is kind of one over a little here but you know what we can move things a little i like the raggedy edge this is going to be a perfect little size it's like a binder you know okay all right guys i i don't know I, that, something in me wants to trim that up right to the edge but i'm afraid i can at least take off a little bit more these are my good fabric scissors and now i'm getting glue on them Okay, good enough. Mm. All right, <laughs> I'm stopping. It's gonna bug me though. <laughs> There's something wrong with me. <laughs> okay, there we go. 
All right. Yes, now I'm going to let it dry. Yeah, I like it, guys. It's kind of neutral, but then the next time what we're going to do is we will take our stencil and we can, you know, kind of randomly stencil on these pages and we can put our little where is it? Our See, let's see how that's going to work. Yeah. Well, I can do it like this. I can fit it inside. It can go over that a little. Or maybe I will put it inside. I don't know. It's a little big, but if I fold these down, it should be perfect. And this is pretty sturdy paper. Okay. So that is my plan for next time. And that was fun. Was it worth it, guys? Is it worth all the work? We'll find out in the next installment. You like the pocket inside? That's what I'm thinking, too. Yeah, it does feel very rustic. And, you know, I can, I kind of like seeing these. Now I kind of wish I had put my outer, you know, this so you could see it out here. Oh, and I should have done this. Shoot, somebody was... I, I, it's like I watched all these bookbinding things for nothing. You go in here and you bind down, press down so your glue sticks. And then when you, you know, bend it. I also saw another one that took a knitting needle. That was a different kind of book, but she took a knitting needle and kind of pretend this is a knitting needle. And then she closed it in there and it was like a little bump. It was really cool. Anyway. That was a different kind of binding. But this is what we did, and it looks good, don't you think? All right, guys. I could copy a little smaller. I was thinking about that. Yeah, that's true. Okay. New blog post going live momentarily. All right, Lisa. Everybody go and check out the blog. We have lots of cool um, ideas. This month is, tell me our, our topic, Lisa. It's about love um i can't think of it love journaling <laughs> i can't think of it i think no that was february ay 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 what was it oh wait we're not doing that yet this is still the love journaling okay all right thanks everybody <laughs> sorry Okay, my, my brain is going now. Thank you for letting me do this because uh, there's a lot of stuff I have to keep doing. So this is good. I'm on a good start. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you on Tuesday, okay? Take it easy and have a great weekend. Bye.